you know, there's so much going on uh, in the stock market. And, you know, if nothing else, I think we're going to just riff on it because I honestly don't understand a lot of what this stuff is about. But hopefully, we'll be able to do a deeper dive into it. It really shocked a lot of people, Mark. What happened? Well, well, let's talk about what you're, you're saying, though, right? You're a well-educated professional doctor, and there's things that you don't know. True. Now, there, there are people who are very much involved in the stock market and don't understand what's going on. And I think it's the bigger picture that we're going to be talking about with a lot of other financial professionals is money. What is it? Who controls it? Why does it do certain things to certain people? How, why do people have different relationships with money? And how is it that there are a small number of people controlling an enormous amount of money, right? Is the system rigged? I think we heard that a lot in the last 10 days. Is the system rigged against the small, quote, retail investor, the you and me's, the folks that are investing on free trading apps like Robinhood, right? Folks are hearing a lot about Robinhood, the app that was used in the GameStop uh, the Reddit revolution, we're liking to call it. But there are hedge funds. And what does that mean? What is a hedge? I mean, I, when I think of a hedge, I think of something, you know, out, outside the building. So they're extremely, hedge. extremely sophisticated investment strategies where mm -hmm. you have somebody who's in charge who's managing a portfolio of investors' money, a lot of money, right? Typically, folks like you and I would not be investing in a hedge fund because we wouldn't be eligible, right? You have to have certain financial uh, criteria in order to be admitted to this club, right? Really? To be allowed to, to invest in a private fund, very unregulated, industry, which is what I'm really interested in seeing is when um, Congress and the Senate start to hold hearings, which should be as soon as next week, I think, where folks are going to testify about what happened. But I think what's going to come of it, more than anything, is some stronger regulations around these investment funds and what they're doing and why not everybody has access to the same information, data, speed of transactions. Is the game rigged in their favor? I don't know that I'm prepared to say that, but I'm really interested to see some sworn testimony about it because I don't fully understand what's going on. I'm not in that space. Like that is not my world. I don't have a B next to my net worth. A lot of these hedge fund managers, owners of these um, investment vehicles are multi-billionaires. One of the things that came, came back to surface recently was um, Bill Ackman, the, one of the gentlemen who owns and runs a hedge fund um, back in March screamed that the sky was falling down right. and and it was he presented a really authentic message that you know think this is really bad and a lot of people paid a, a very close attention to what he had to say he was very enthusiastic about it but on the other side he was he was betting against the u.s economy and he made two billion dollars Right? Was he being genuine and authentic as he was screaming and yelling that we're coming, the world is coming to an end? Or was he making the market shift? Was he manipulating the market? Market making, they call that. And that's not supposed to happen. Hmm. So it'll be interesting to see whether or not some of these folks are 
are called to task and held accountable for it, or if it's going to get broomed under the rug. I, you know, Thomas, you were following this really closely. We talked about it briefly last week, but it seems pretty quiet this week, doesn't it? Is the is it is it me or did this get silenced a little bit already? Well, quiet where? Quiet well, I tell you in, what, the, in the in the large mediums. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna like make this a cliffhanger because I can't be quiet for much longer because <laughs> I don't want to bet against our sponsors because without them, I I, I don't want to short this. So let's um let's do this. We're gonna come back and, and hear what Tom has to say uh, right after this commercial break. Ben, take it away. And we are back with the Dr. Joe show talking about a revolution. Baby. Yeah, we are. So Tom, you were, you were about to, to respond to Mark about, you know, what's your take on this and where things are at. Yeah. Well, the conversation where I've been observing, it hasn't died down. I think that on uh, say CNN or CNBC, You'll, they'll have headlines like as the game stop as the game stop story fizzles out uh, r slash Wall Street bets is focusing more on silver now where that's not exactly the case they're not a hive mind but they'll also say we on the whole aren't doing the silver thing we're pumping we're still pumping up gamestop this is still about you know hurting Melvin capital so is that a ploy to distract? I think it's like a it's classic Cointel Pro. What do you mean? I think that there was there there's always going to be some sort of a coercion to undermine that kind of effort because why wouldn't you? If you <laughs> change on, on. the story, right? Yeah, it's as easy. It's as simple as making a Reddit account or paying a few hundred or a few thousand people to make Reddit accounts and divide and distract. Well, oh, yeah. I'll tell you, I'll tell you what was most surprising to me, Dr. Joe, as a Robin hood account holder who has had an account and enjoys the freedom of making trades without costs and having financial information at my fingertips and watching what my average cost was. It, it has been really fun and accessible to a lot of people, right? And a lot of people have been utilizing it through the pandemic. A lot of people who are home, a lot of younger people, right? A lot of people are making a lot of money in the stock market using Robinhood. But then you find out that they're owned with a majority ownership of hedge fund money right that was kind of shocking to find out that you know this this robin hood right we're gonna steal from the rich for the poor right but we're so, actually we are the rich and what was even more disheartening to find out is that robin hood was feeding the information of these retail traders to these hedge fund folks in advance of the trade going through. And I Whoa. think that's that's going to be focused really heavily because they claim to have disclosed it. You know, and I'm I'm not, you know, I'm a lawyer, but I'm not going to sit and read all of the terms and conditions on all of the apps that I buy, but I looked at this one because it was financial and I don't remember seeing that very clearly <laughs> that they're going to take our trade information and they're going to flow it through to some folks that are going to pay them significant amount of money for wow. that information to then speed trade around them. Right. So wow. if I were to, in theory, if I were to buy a, a share of Tesla at $825, by the time the trade goes through, it might be $825 and 50 cents. And I don't wow. know if you all saw the movie office space, but you know, you can round off a penny a, you know, hundred million times and it starts to add up. Wow. I, I mean, that's got to be illegal or at the very least unethical to say, hey, by the way, this person is about to do this with this stock. So you may want to do something like before or right after. I mean, but, 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 but I, I, I mean, I think we need to back up a bit. So, I mean, when I think of Robin Hood, I think of a guy in a green outfit 
with a bow and arrow who was robbing from the rich to give to the poor. That was the classic Robin Hood story. So the name in and of itself, something that's good for the common person, the average person. But what actually is Robin Hood? So you can, you can tr buy shares, trade shares. I mean, I, I think, you know, I mean, we need, a, we need a basic understanding of what the stock market really is. Mark, so the, from your experience. Well, the, the, the irony of it is, is as this GameStop debacle, this Reddit revolution, if you will, has taken form, you're realizing they're not stealing from the rich and giving to the poor. They're stealing from the poor and giving it to the rich, right? So uh, that story aside, the stock market is, a, is an equities market, right? So companies can sell shares of their company, the equity in their company to the public market, right? But they have to follow a lot of strict rules and, and guidelines associated with it. And it's, it's all about disclosure. You know, it's, it's all about who has the information, right? Insider trading, right? There's been a right. speculation that there was some insider trading going on, but everybody feels as though that the market is fair. The question that's being raised right now is, is it really fair? or is it quote rigged for a certain group of people, right? Is, is the large billionaire hedge fund model rigging and controlling and manipulating the system so that us small mom and pops are gonna get smoked, right? I'm not going there yet, but um, it certainly is, is asking a lot of questions and we're looking forward to the the Senate hearings to, to hear most, spe most specifically that relationship about what Robin Hood's trading platform was doing with that information. That's what okay. I'm most looking forward to seeing. But, 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 but again, we've got to back up a little Go bit ahead. more just to put this in a context. Um, so last week or so, I was told that this company GameStop, which is very popular, was not doing well financially. And there's a possibility that it was gonna go out of business. And my understanding of what a short is in the market is that, and, and I really don't get it, you buy, you are buying a stock. Borrowing. Borrowing a stock. And then you're hoping that the price goes down and so when you give it back at the price so, that you bought. That so you break, break it down even more simply than that. Okay, so there's a, there's a share at $10, right? I'm going to borrow that share, but then I'm going to sell it in the hopes that it's going to go down. So that when it goes down to seven, I buy it and sell it back at 10. So I've made $3 on that. So I borrow it at $10. I don't buy it, I borrow it, but then I sell it. I sell the borrowed share. So now when I have to return that share, my hope is that I can buy it for less than I sold it. So I borrow it at 10, I sell that borrowed share at 10, and then I buy it back at five. So now I've made $5 when I give it back, right? But if that can happen, guess what else can happen? That $10 share that I borrowed goes up to 15, 20, 300, 400. And now I need to give that back or I need to prove that I'm capable of giving that share back but now it costs $400. Huh. So what happened, and they called this the short squeeze, is that they had to start buying some themselves. Well, who's they? So who's it went they? the folks that had borrowed the shares. Okay, they started so, I'm sorry. So I, I just want to try to explain this to people. So these investors, these hedge funds, so they're hedging their bet. That's what hedge Correct. means. H 
hedging your bet means you're going to bet on something now and hope something changes later and you make money on it. But they were doing something called a short. Was that right? Yes, a, a short long. is a sh so think of it bigger than that. So a hedge fund is a fund that has multiple different I don't want to use the term bet, but it is every multiple bets, trades that are in play. Some okay. are long, some are short, some are derivative, some are this, that, the other thing, right? So they're hedging, saying, if I buy this stock long, I'm going to buy this one short. So I'm going to hedge, I'm going to mitigate, I'm going to try to make as much money and lose as little money possible. Right. So one of their bets was to short GameStop. This is this is Blockbuster 2.0. Nobody needs games anymore. They download everything. They're streaming everything. How could GameStop possibly be a viable company anymore? We're going to make sure it goes bankrupt. Right. They're not saying that, but they're betting that it's going to go bankrupt. Now, what happened in this scenario was the perfect storm. Reddit is a community of like-minded people sharing ideas. Some of them game. What happened was at a certain point in time, not that long ago, a new CEO was put into GameStop. And there was right. a lot of enthusiasm behind this new leader that they could take them in a different direction. They could pivot. They could stay in the market. Everybody loves the brand. Maybe they can survive like Netflix did, right? Do you remember Netflix used to have you take a DVD, fold the envelope backwards and send it back? Well, they weren't behind, they weren't going to be far behind Blockbuster in the bankruptcy line if they continued going down the path with that model. So, but they pivoted, they shifted, they started streaming their content. Now they're making original content that's amazing and their stock is soaring and they're successful. But I can guarantee you that there were a lot of people betting that they were going to fail at one point in time. So when the hedge funds, the really smart, intellectual, sophisticated, we know more than anyone else about the market, started to see this enthusiasm, they saw this as a sucker's bet. They saw the Reddit folks as simpletons who are driving up a stock that has no way of succeeding. So we're going to short it. And what happens in the stock market is everything is disclosed. So it's, it was disclosed at how much this stock was being shorted. It was actually being shorted more than 100%. So in essence, it was unsustainable. You can't actually do what was happening. 138% of shares were being shorted. How does that happen? 100% is a full, full plate. Right. So somebody who's local to us, I believe he's in Brockton, right, Tom? The, the fellow that, that identified this and rallied the troops and said, hey, folks, look what's going on here. Do you see this? Are you seeing what I'm seeing? What do you say we buy into this and squeeze these folks? So I want to hear more about this and I hear what you're saying, and I know I'm seeing what you're seeing, but this is what I'm also seeing, <laughs> is that I don't want to short our sponsors. I can't hedge that bet. Oh, Bam, let's take a commercial break. We'll be right back. Stretch the 